What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. As you guys can see here, lots of great figures here to discuss, to fix up, to make better, right? I mean, that's the whole reason we do WWE Action Figure Surgery is pretty much I'm laying in bed at night, I'm staring up at the ceiling in the darkness, the fans going, the sound machines going, I'm laying there contemplating life itself, and then bam, fix up hits me right in the dome, and I gotta, I gotta make it come to fruition, man. And sometimes I'm just looking around the room and a fix up will hit me in the head or I want to do something and then I look at a figure and go dead gum it'd be better if it had this or what if I have this or what if I add this to this or I look at a piece of, of figure clothing or I look at a head sculpt and I say damn this would look good here or this boots would fit on this nice and all those things and it leads me to this spot right here which is WWE action figure surgery and this is the culmination of all those thoughts coming to a head and I think this is episode 87 or something like that so we're, we're right back at it with the white vans of course now, as you guys know we always start off with the guy on the stretcher, so that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Starting out first, man, we finally have our hands on the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Shelton Benjamin figure. One of the figures I was most hyped for coming into this year. I think they showed this off at WrestleMania 38 Axis, maybe, or it may, I, I think so. It may have been San Diego Comic-Con. This one right here, man, this figure right here is no, so nostalgic for me. It eats it up. It, it is beautiful, but if you guys are unaware, it has large knee pads on it, and not only does it have large knee pads on it, Brad, but I don't want to make, like, I want, the, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I want like three or four of this figure for different things I want to do. However, something that is massive for me is I don't want this exact gear. I want to change out the gear. I want the full white gear from like his late 05, early 06 look that Shelton Benjamin was rocking. And that brings us to, if you guys remember, I said on the last episode of Surgery or something like that, I said there is a fix-up out there that I want to do so badly, but I don't have the parts. And it was this fix-up right here, man. I'm going to take the Elite 43 Kofi Kingston kick pads and put them onto this Shelton Benjamin to give him the white, blue, and black look here. And there used to be New Day logos on the back of these kick pads, but I have removed them. So now... It just looks like a blue and white and black design like his old kick pads. Is it completely accurate? No, it is not. But it will be no paint whatsoever. It'll be flawless. It'll look great. So we're, we're going to do that fix up today. I'm very excited to see what that looks like. And also, I was trying to decide what color knee pads I want to do. I think I'm going to put these smaller black knee pads on here. But I also have white and I also have blue. And I think Jax did uh, all three at one point, I want to say. I know they did blue and I think they did white. And why wouldn't they have done black? So I could be wrong about that, but this blue doesn't necessarily match. So I, I don't think I could use these blue. But uh, I think I'm going to use the black. And then if we get more of that figure down the line, maybe we can fix it up in different ways. But next up, guys, we are also going to be doing the Brian Danielson MJF. Oh, oh my god. God in heaven. This, uh When the background falls over back here, it makes me just want to just lose my damn mind. I don't know why he's not standing up. Nonetheless, so we have the unmatched Series 5 Danielson and Series 4 MJF, and we're going to be swapping the torsos here to make the Danielson look much better. I've already done the, uh, you know, the, I've, I've already went in and removed the tattoos, so we wouldn't have to add an extra step. Should be really simple. I know a lot of people have done that before, but for those of you that haven't seen that one, it's a very nice fix-up. We also have a couple Rollins figures here, which I guess, uh, I, I, I mean, I, let's just wait on these. I'll show you guys these in a minute. I'll show you guys these in a minute. I'm going to be doing something with these Rollins that uh, I think is going to be pretty damn cool, Brad. So let's take our Rollins and put them over here, and we're also going to take this Rollins head sculpt and put it over here, and we're also going to be taking this shirt that I found randomly that I have no idea where it came from and put that over there as well. And one thing we're also going to do is we're going to be taking this Jeff Hardy two-pack with the SmackDown figure with the Triple H, Triple H two-pack elite set. I'm going to take this head scan off and I'm going to be putting this head scan onto the Ultimate Edition back here. And I'm going to take this screaming expression and put it onto the two-pack. And then I'm going to take this shirt off. So I'll show you guys exactly what that's going to look like. But we have sort of a three-way trade here with Jeff Hardy. I have a lot of this figure. I only have one of these loose. I really wanted more of these, but I guess since the torso is kind of weird, but God, Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy has so much damn potential. But I'm finally going to get usage out of this custom head sculpt. I don't know, if you guys haven't seen this before, look at this custom head sculpt. It, it's a face paint that I kind of designed, and then I sent it to my boy B.E.W., and he brought it to life. Look how sick as hell that looks. Jesus. So we're going to be putting this on the Ultimate, 
And then we're going to be taking that head scan off and putting this head sculpt over here and then removing this shirt. And I'll show you guys why in just a moment. So we'll get into all those things. But Jeff Hardy is definitely something we're going to fix up here today. We're also, okay, here I have this necklace. I think I'm going to put this on the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy so he's not necklaceless. I know what I said. All right. I need this for my Seth Rollins fix up. And then all we're doing here is head swapping these Trishes. This Trish looks way more current, but I want it on an Elite. I don't want the basic here. So I'm going to be switching this head sculpt onto here. And then I may add some highlights at a later date, but I do want to make that head swap figure here. And then last but not least, we're going to do a shoe swap on my uh, my custom Roman Reigns here. So, you know, the black jogger Roman Reigns, we're going to switch the white shoes for the red shoes because it's more accurate. And so that'll look pretty damn clean. So that's what we're doing today, man. we got a lot of cool fix-ups to do. And also, I'd like to know, just a little poll down in the comment section. I want to know, would you guys rather just transition to the end? Or do you like the in-between showing the thing? I feel like the whole reason that you guys watch the surgery videos is because I go in-depth about the process and show you guys exactly how to do it with the tools that I have and showing you guys the tools and everything I use. So let me know down in the comment section below, but let's shut the hell up. Dr. Whitekiss is ready. Let's get some fix-ups going. All right, man, so the first thing we're going to do is I feel like the first thing is just going to be the Danielson and the MJF just because, I mean, anybody can do this just like chilling at the house. This is so beautiful about AEW figures. And say what you want. I mean, are they perfect? Absolutely not. But, I mean, they do a lot of great things here, and I think they get the job done on a, a number of occasions. Like, they do so many things well, um, but they, of course, they do have their faults, you know, like nobody bats a thousand as we like to say here. And I mean, even Mattel doesn't bat a thousand as good as Mattel is and probably the best action figures or wrestling action figures for sure in the game right now. Uh, you're just not, you're not beating them right now. And so, uh, yeah, but we're going to pop the Danielson torch over here just because I don't really care about that. Uh, this figure is going to go in the closet until I can get an extra MJF here, but putting the Danielson hands back in the MJF and then plopping this onto the Danielson. This is such a better formula for Danielson, man. I mean, his head's still too damn big and all those different things, but hopefully when they when they do him again, look at that. We'll look at it at the end, but they could just do him so much better than they do him. I guess I'm just going to put this on here just so I don't have these parts laying around, but yeah. I, I like the Series 4 MJF. It's just the head sculpt looks nothing like MJF, and for those reasons... That's why he didn't come in so high on the unmatched ranking. If you guys missed our unmatched figure ranking, you can go do that. But uh, now we have a, a jacked, massive chest MJF figure. Which I guess doesn't look horrendous, but the proportions on this guy are crazy as hell. All right, next matter of business. This one, this one, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Look at look at how simple this is. I'm going to be putting this jacket on here. And I didn't even want to, I don't even want to show me putting it on there because I want you guys to see it at the end. So just know at the end, we're going to have this figure with this jacket on here. Should be chef's kiss. We'll see about that at the end of the video. But that is what I wanted to do with Rollins. But again, I didn't want you guys to see it just yet because then, you know, it kind of ruins the surprise there. So you guys can see that at the end there. But now, we got to get a series of things we need to heat up, right? So we know we need to heat this up. These old figures, you got to heat up their head sculpt. I hope I don't snap any neck pegs. I mean, that's definitely a realistic possibility here. So I don't have to heat up anything with the Rollins. He has removable stuff. Very easy to do. Don't have to worry about him. Uh, however, we do have to heat up the kick pads of the Kofi and the Shelton, which is, God, dude, very difficult sometimes. Like, sometimes you can run into some to some terrible trouble doing something like that, but I think that is what we're going to do. But prepping Shelton here, one thing that I like to do, especially with these long knee pads, is pull the knee pads up as far as they could possibly go. That way, when you heat them up, it can get on that peg right there and those kick pads so that they heat up and they get all the nice stuff in there and it'll all be good and gracious. So there's all that. I don't know what else we can do. I guess we can, uh, I don't know if I trust it. I guess we can go ahead. Let's take off, let's take off this mesh shirt from our Jeff Hardy figure and put it off to the side because I do have plans for this, like I said. I don't like, oh dude, I don't know because I don't want to, I don't want to heat up this head sculpt so long. Like everything here needs to be heated up a pretty long minute and I don't want to do that with this Jeff Hardy because I, if you guys will notice, he has a necklace on and if you heat that necklace up, up too long it gets very very fragile very quick like and then it could pop in half and if it pops in half i'm gonna have to cut my own face in half and we don't want any of those things so i don't know I, i'm trying to debate here exactly what i want to do hmm it's one of my favorite mattels man love this figure two-pack jeff hardy just so classic mesh shirt great head sculpt it also came with a jersey i mean my god what are we doing here but hmm hmm damn i don't know what i want to do i'm gonna wait on it i'm gonna wait on it and we're gonna do it when we heat up Roman shoes. 
I think that's what my plan is. That's what my new brain tells me. But you guys know you can't heat up stuff unless you have the good old trusty white hair dryer, who is, uh, he's not, uh, he's not, he's not batting a thousand. You know, he's not, he doesn't have a perfect right. He's not undefeated. You'd call a W for the hair dryer every time he does a successful surgery without breaking or snapping a peg or something like that. So if anybody's bored as hell today and wants to go back and see how many things the white trusty hair dryer has successfully made a swap and then failed, you could do so and see what his actual winning record is. What is his record? I know he has a winning record. I just like to know what his total record is of wins and losses is. But let's shut the hell up and hit it. So while we're waiting on the white trusty hair dryer to cook, definitely go over to our Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and follow us at My Damn Toys. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, just wanted to chime in here while the white trusty hair dryer was finishing up the job. But definitely go check us out over there and then come back for surgery real quick like if you guys are not already following us. All right, Bradley, let's see what we're cooking up here. Probably not good stuff, to be honest with you. Very hot. Very hotness, probably. Uh, yeah, very hot right here. Gonna prop that off. That actually came off way simpler than I was afraid of. Okay, this is almost off. God in heaven. Hold up. All right, got that kick pad off. Love these kick pads. It looks like they're based in white. Maybe able to, like, I don't know, do some of those later in the in the future. But let's go ahead and see if we can pop off Kofi's kick pads. This one should pop off relatively easy, but this one right here is giving me a little bit of trouble, but I got it right there. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now we need to slide these off. Let's go ahead and slide these off. That way, when we try to stick the kick pads on there, it's not, like, terribly hard. But I did not line these up. Why didn't I line these up beforehand? Now I got to struggle and... Okay, this is the left one. Just putting this one on the left. There's some people... There are legitimately people out there that don't know the right from left. And, uh... That's, uh... That's sad. Need to do better. All right, man. Got these Shelton kick pads on there. And now I'm going to pop the white kick pads onto the Ruthless Aggression Elite. And now that I've gotten this on here... Mm, we can look at him in just a moment. And now we gotta pop off the Trish head sculpt. Actually, very, very easy. Wow, both of those were super simple. And we'll pop her head sculpt on there. Same head sculpt, just one has true effects and looks better than the other one. So, you know, do with that what you will. But there you go. I mean, for the most part, we got everything completed right there. It wasn't a huge, huge task. I guess I could put this on here and then put it in the crowd. Loki looks like Brandy Rhodes or something. Alrighty. I'd put the Shelton kick pads on here, but I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It probably looked fine. I'm just, I, 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 I don't care. You know, I don't want to. I'm going to save those for another day or something like that. And now that I'm thinking about it you know what actually might look better mm, maybe not i don't know i was gonna say what if you put the feet of the because it has the shape of the shelton benjamin kick pad like this right here if you put these feet onto that shelton benjamin it would probably look better like even if you even if you acetoned off the blue right here on this so it would be white with the black shoes like he was wearing white kick pads over black shoes it would probably complete the look even better but we can look at that later on that's a later date moment all right man next order of business let's go ahead and heat up the jeff hardy head sculpt here and then we're going to heat up the roman shoes and hopefully i mean surely like shouldn't need that much heat here you know what i'm saying it should be relatively simple you know, I, I don't foresee any, like, major challenges, but... And maybe these shoes can, like, block the necklace just a hair, you know? And just absorb most of that heat so the necklace won't get super fragile on it. But I think this is the last thing we need for heat. The rest is just gonna be switching and, and stuff like that. So, let's see what we got here. Should be relatively simple, and hopefully that's the case. All right, Brad, let's see what we got going here. Hopefully this head sculpt does not snap nothing or nothing. Already got that. Pop the necklace off. Do I need that necklace on there? Do I need that necklace on there? Yeah, I think I do need that necklace on there. That is correct. Okay, so head sculpt came off. I think this is going to be bonus. I don't think I really needed this head sculpt, so that's good, but... Let's pop the Ultimate Edition over here. So we'll look at that in just a moment. So the Ultimate Edition Screaming Head Sculpt's going on the Elite right there. Two-pack Elite. And then we have the other necklace, which is going to go on the Ultimate Edition now. Which, I think this one originally came with a purple necklace or something. But I think I put it on a different figure or something like that. But here we go, putting that there. And now we're going to put this custom green head sculpt 
on here it is interchangeable already so we'll put that on there and now we will look at this at the end with the rest of our projects and now we need to hurry up because we need to get our roman range switched over so we have this bonus fodder here this extra fodder here and now hopefully this is relatively simple i would hope so we will see sometimes this can be tricky but sometimes it'll just pop right on there so it just kind of depends on what you got going on and and okay, I thought that was on there. Okay, I thought that was on there. Alrighty, got the one shoe, and now we're popping this one off. Put these shoes over here with the rest of my Usos and Roman Reigns fodder. It's actually a ton, but now we gotta pop this on here. Should be relatively simple like the last one, but God in heaven. Alright, I got it. So we'll look at that at the end there, and now we're moving on to what? Seth Rollins, and then we're, we're wrapping up this action figure surgery. All right, guys, last but not least. Now, I'm pretty intrigued about this one. You guys know the Elite 93 Rollins right here. First of all, I'm going to swap out the hand right here for a non-gloved hand. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, he doesn't wear the glove no more and what I'm going for, Brad. So it's going to be this, like, red gear here. But we're also going to pop this head sculpt off, and we're going to be putting this mesh shirt from the Jeff Hardy and, uh, you know, the Triple H SmackDown 2-pack here. We're going to be putting this onto here and then we're also going to be putting one of the ultimate edition head sculpts on here so now you have this like mesh long sleeve shirt or whatever and then we're going to be putting this head sculpt on here and now you have a couple different options okay you can either a leave him like this and like you know you kind of have like a you know a drip world champion style Rollins or you can take one of these uh, coats here so I have the Edge Legends coat that might look good on here, or I have this like long, you know, like long trench coat thing. So you can either wear this like long black one over this, as you guys can see there, or you can take the Edge coat and put that over here. And now you have the mesh shirt under long red coat, which I guess isn't completely accurate, but... I don't know, it kind of like gives it, you know, that like Seth Rollins aesthetic a little bit. You know, it's kind of like a robe or, or something like that. I don't know, I'm just messing around with it. But you guys can see what I'm kind of going for there. The mesh shirt's the biggest thing. And I mean, shoot, like, you can even put the white one that we got with the Elite 99. You know, you can put this over this mesh shirt. And then you have another look. So I don't know, that's just something to play around with. Maybe you guys have an idea for that. But nonetheless, let's look at everything we've done today here on Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so here's everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Pretty successful day, you know. I think there was some pretty good stuff going on. I'm excited to finally complete some of these things that I wanted to get done. Starting out first, we do have the Trish Stratus figure. Definitely looks better, I'd say. You know, I think a black wash would do wonders for it. But this is a really dangerous damn good head sculpt, man. Certainly better than the than the Elite 87 is what that what it was. It was horrible. This looks way better. So I'm pretty proud of the Trish Stratus. I think it works for an updated Trish for the moment. I'm sure we'll get an updated Elite down the line or like a more modern day Elite down the line, but you know it is what it is. We also have the Trouble Chief here or the Big Dog or whatever the hell you want to say. Red shoes look good. Kind of fits kind of what he's going for today. And then, if you guys were unaware, if you guys missed our video from the other day, we did make the new Undisputed Universal Championship. So now, I can put this onto here, and there you go. Updated Tribal Chief with his Undisputed Championship looking pretty damn good. I'm, I'm pretty proud of the way that came out right there. It's not perfection, but it looks, you know, it's going to be a great placeholder until we do get the official thing. We also have a look at our Jeff Hardys here. We have the two-pack with the Screaming Head Sculpt, which I think really kind of works. Like, he had this similar hair color back in, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s. So I think you could work with that, like a Hardy Boys, especially if you put, like, a you know, a custom t-shirt on there, and then you have the ultimate here. A torso that was way too big, way, you know, originally when we discussed it, you know, when the figure first got shown, but the skull paint job, or this, you know, this, like, custom head sculpt on this body does look really good, especially with the, you know, the green sleeves, green belt. I wish he had all of his updated tattoos, and also, have you guys seen him lately? Like, his new figures are gonna be outdated unless they update his tattoos, like, already. Like, his Unrivaled 16 figure, I, I like, I believe there's enough time to fix that figure. I hope to God they do that because he's got like all of his his throats covered, his like shoulders are covered, his whole like side has some. Like he has a bunch of new tattoos. So his new figures hopefully will not be outdated once we get them. But yeah, here is uh, you know we got our our two Jeff Hardy figures. Here is the Shelton Benjamin, and this looks pretty damn good, man. I think this looks really excellent. I probably won't keep the elbow pads on there. I think he looks good how he is here. 
And, uh, you know, I think, I mean, maybe some white lower legs would make it look a little bit better, but I don't hate it. You know, I think it gets the job done. It, it is about the look that I wanted here. And this head skull, I think what throws this figure off, I saw somebody do like an Ultimate Edition fix-up where they put the Mr. T Ultimate Edition torso. So you got the double jointed arms, you had the butterfly joints. It was a really beautiful fix-up. I really want to do that to this figure, but I'm not all about putting an Ultimate Edition on here. I'd probably get somebody else to do that. I just haven't perfected that process just yet for me. So that may be something we look into or something, but... This Shawn Benjamin looks damn good, and I'm pretty proud of it. I think this looks damn good, and I can, uh, I can appreciate that one right there. That, that's good. This is exactly what I wanted out of Shelton. We have our two sets here, and I went ahead and put the white coat on there just to give you guys a little bit of a different look. And here is the gold shirt. Gold shirt's a little bit baggier than I'd like, honestly. I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, roll this sleeve up once. I think it would do wonders for it, but I couldn't quite get it before recording the segment. But the golden black looks really good on here, and it looks like something he would wear. I think it looks really damn good. And then this one, you know, I, I guess the white coat doesn't really, uh, white coat doesn't really fit it, but I think the mesh shirt looks really good on that Rollins. So if you guys can think of a cool fix up with that mesh shirt, definitely try to do so and tag me if you do so. And then last but not least, we do have our Brian Danielson fix up, which is one we've seen quite a bit, but. I finally did the full thing, so I don't have to keep switching it back and forth. Uh, I finally just made the switch entirely, and I'll get an MJF Unmatched Series 4 replacement soon, but that is everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. I think it was a pretty damn good day, Brad. Pretty damn good day here, as we have our Ultimate, we have Trish, we have our Big Dog Tribal Chief, we got the Shelton. I'd say it was a pretty good day. Pretty good day overall of action figure surgery, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap this video up, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you will, go follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Posting more and more on TikTok every single day. Trying to grow the following over there a little bit there. So before we get out of here, also a huge shout out to our patron backers over on Patreon at the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. Working on figuring some more stuff out over there to get it going. And if you guys have any ideas on that, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Check out the links in the description below. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll never